Alright guys, you know what time it is? Strong World Ace. Let's go ahead and get Ace run, uh, running here. Ace, you guys know. If, if you know, if you watch my videos at all, you know, I'm mainly associated with this legend. So we're going to be going over the best Ace team. Then we're going to be going over global only Ace team, because they're very different. And then we're going to be going over... Um, so maybe some free-to-play teams or whatever so um, first off the ideal team if you get them on Japan or if you play if, the, if these characters come out on global is you need the shooter a booster oh. there you go Zephyr at 1.75 boost for two turns you need the shooter or booster is Frankie. Frankie. Yeah, Frankie. You want the shooter delayer, which is Usopp. And Strong will do Usopp. Then you need that Heracles. Hercules. Hercules. Alright, I don't know. Heracles. This is this is the dream team right here. Like when you talk about dream teams in OPTC, this is like right at the top pretty much. Trust me, I have this team. I can clear almost everything. The only, the only thing I can clear so far uh, that I've seen is a Delphi Forest that I've like really struggled with. I mean, you know, a couple raid bosses here or there, but this is crazy good. This is this team is crazy. This team is OP. You get matching orbs, 1.75 type boost, 1.5 orb boost, um, a, by the way, reduce current HP uh, by 40%, you'll 15 times that amount subtracted in type of damage to all enemies and locks over for one turn. That That's crazy. And then with the ship, with the ace boat if you want. Um, where's the ace boat? Uh, you look at all this HP. Oh, 57,000 HP, man. Without, be, before cutting candy. And all your cooldowns are reduced by one, so... Whew, this team is OP. Sometimes you can't play the boss, so some other blue shooters like... Uh, Kizaru, you know, bring Kizaru. Or, if you want to be super OP, if you want to be super OP, you can bring our good friend Aokiji. If you want to have like the ultimate team, and uh, three turns of everything, man. Three turns of this, you know how crazy that is? That's so OP. What are you talking about? <laughs> talking about so much damage for three turns. But yeah. Now, um, like I said, Zephyr's not out on global. Well, let's go back to the. Go back to Usopp. Zephyr's not out on global. Usopp's not out on global. Frankie's not out on global. So, what can we do to replace those guys? Um, obviously, the team's not going to be as good. But it can, you can still make a pretty good, um, you can still make a pretty good team here. So, uh, let me see. Someone, someone says something. Okay, so for a, for the shooter, you can use um, maybe five, maybe five. Use that. You can use Duval. Interesting. Is there an ore booster? Let's see. I don't think Gladius. I think we need an ore booster. Baby five boost the attack of shooter characters by 1.5 for one turn, and then if you score all perfects, you get it another 1.5 the next turn. So that's very similar to what Zephyr does. Promise that you need a uh, an ore. Is there an ore booster in uh, for shooter on global? What's up, D Dofa? What's up, man? Yeah, you can you can sort of use Gladius. I mean, it's it's not bad. You know, but it's definitely a nice global. You know, he's nice if you got him. Definitely, 20% cut is insane. Change the one too quick. Yeah, definitely, definitely would consider doing that. You miss out on sockets, of course. You can't really socket Gladius. Like you can socket uh, Usopp, but definitely there. Um, and someone said use um Duval for another 20% cut. But you, you know you miss out on the, the purple. You want what, what are some good purple shooters on global? There's no orb booster, right, so that really hurts the team. 
Um, Duval, again, it's not, I guess it's not bad because you get 20%. Reduce damage, or anything? You don't really need to reduce damage. Oh, you got Intoc? Nice, man. Uh, let me see. I'm looking for purple shooters. <laughs> Don Kree. Oh, there's not much. There's not there's much. It's all fodder units. Curio. Wow, there's actually not any purple shooters. That's insane. That is insane. Yeah, maybe Sabo, that might be a good idea. At the end, just do a recap of like the top teams. <sighs> yeah. So since there are no, um, since there are no or booster shooters on global, definitely Marco is gonna be where the place to be at. Marco is somebody that I use all the time. Um, on my ace team already. He's not a shooter, but he does boost orb by 1.5 for two turns, and you heal all the way back to full. So, you're talking about like 50,000 HP that you heal back, assuming you have a cotton candy on him or whatever. Uh, this is the ace striker team. If you're doing like, um, if you want to do a training forest, you can use the, you actually can use the whitebeard ship. Um, because that gives a bit more HP. And look, 51,000. Almost 52 before Cotton Candy. Uh, obviously, again, you can't do as much damage, but you do get a 20% cut, which is nice, especially in the room with all those people. It's going to make killing them a lot easier. Um, so yeah, this is actually a pretty nice team. This could probably clear, this could definitely clear some training for us on, um, on uh, Global. Well, they only have Whitebeard, though, but this is probably do Whitebeard. Yeah, Kuro's an in-shooter, but he doesn't really do much to his ability. Now, the thing is, of course, you do have to hit perfects with baby five. So if you, hit, you know, make sure your perfects are on point. But if they are, nice team right there. Nice team for sure. Definitely can be training. Definitely can be training for us for sure. So it's not bad. And again, um, you don't need the ace boat. You want white beard is fine. White beard is what I use on on Japan because it gives an extra point one health. Um, and in trading, when it comes to trading forest, you don't you can just heal back up before you go into the hard rounds. The only problem is again sockets. So there's not really easy ways to socket these guys yet. There will be at the two year anniversary easy ways to socket Ace and Marco, but um, it's pretty tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depending, yeah, depending on some of them will probably need a do something. Yeah, yeah. But still, oh, yeah, need to. The navy ship, yeah, <laughs> no. Strong. So, for you guys who don't know, Strangled Ace he boosts shooters by 1.5. Um, but then it's times three if they have a matching orb. My bad, my bad. Two, uh, two times, two times, two times. Um, Rob Lucci is 2.5. Uh, Ace is two times, but it's three times if you have a matching orb. So you want to have a matching orb on all your shooters if possible. Also, boost their HP by 1.5. So two aces will boost your HP by a lot. Combine it with the Wicked Ship, you get a lot. Um, Navy ship doesn't boost attack, it only boosts HP, so you don't need the Navy ship. So yeah, if you don't know guys, use Heracles, then use Ace to lock the orbs, you use Marco for the orb boost, Baby 5 for the type boost, and then uh, in this case we use Gladius, but you couldn't bring Usopp, you miss out on a lot of damage though. Um, why is it going to be easy? You're going to be, so during the second year anniversary there is an Ace Island event um, that you can run for, I think it's an... 30 minutes each day or something, or an hour each day, and it drops socket books. It drops all the kinds of socket books. So I, I literally maxed all my legends off, off that. Like I had Sengoku and Rayleigh maxed and Rob Lucci maxed. And then I like maxed all my other legends just with that. It's pretty, it was pretty crazy. So yeah. And when it comes to Ace, like look, like Ace has 100% on freaking. uh, able to clear everything with the proper units. It's up Ace. So I mean, hey guys, if you have strong will Ace, like do not, uh, you know, you should be happy because he's insane. One of the best units by far. Like top tier. There, there is one decent in shooter on Japan, on, um, on Global. Uh, it's Kuriel, but 
it doesn't really do much. Like, it doesn't add anything to the team other than being an shooter. Hey, but it might be all you need, right? So, like, you, the problem is you don't get an orb boost. You miss out on an orb boost. You probably it, you would do more damage if you had Marco. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. The freeze Marco special. Yeah, like you do more damage with Marco special than if just having Curio on the on the team. <laughs> Bottom tier. Uh, I mean, Boa and Shanks are always, you know, said bottom tier. I don't know a lot of the recent ones. I don't know how good they are. But they're still all good, man. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Shooter attack by 100 is nothing. Like, it's literally nothing. Like, do not don't do not use the, the Navy ship. Yeah. So, this is an awesome team. And then, um, I guess, like, free-to-play, you know, I don't know how free-to-play would be, would go. Uh, yeah, I actually don't know how free to play would go. I'm trying to think, uh, I know there's Wiper, right? Pretty easy to get. Deals 50 times characters attack and dex to one enemy. It's pretty bad, but you can still probably use him. I don't know. Absol is Absalom a shooter actually? That's crazy. Abba. Reduce damage received by 50% for 2 turns, boost recovery of all characters. Alright. That's cool. No, no Navy ship, man. 100, like. Alright, so to put this into perspective, right, the Navy ship increases shooter characters by 100 attack, right? Okay, the every other ship pretty much boosted attack by 1.5. What does that mean? Um, he has 1352 attack. Multiply it by 9 for the captain effects, right? So you're talking close to like 10k. That you're you're talking about 5k attack versus 100 attack. It's it's a lot. It's a big difference. And then on top of that, you have boost and stuff. Yeah, it's for it's for Blackbeard. Yeah, yeah. But even Blackbeard teams, um, I guess it's a quick, quick, uh, because this is technically still a shooter team. When I use Blackbeard teams, this is the one I use, because I don't feel like maxing the. I don't feel like maxing my um, navy ship. Maybe five's already there. You can use Absalom, I guess. Kuma. Uh, Ors. Yeah, you can use something like this with the Ace Boat or whatever. If you're on Japan. If you're on Global, then you probably just use a Marine Ship or whatever. But yeah. But yeah, guys, it's gonna do it for Stronghold Ace. Um, again, one of the most OP characters in the game. If you have him, be happy and start working on him. And um, talk to you guys later.